In this video, we will show you how to use Integration Builder to create an integration that prints a specific bartender document after detecting an empty trigger file. We will create a blank text file and a specific directory that the integration service will monitor. When the integration service detects the file in the directory, it will delete the empty file and print the specified document. To begin, create the directory that the integration service will monitor and where the empty file will be saved. For this example, we will call it assembly line next part. In another directory, create a blank text file called part.txt. Now, let's look at the bartender document that will print with this integration, serialized.btw. In the Transforms tab of the Barcode Object Properties, you see that the barcode will increment by one with every printing. Now, to create the new integration, open up Integration Builder and select Create New Integration. Select File as the integration method. This will trigger the integration whenever a new file is detected in the directory and click OK. In the File Integration pane, select Integration. In the Properties pane, enter the name of your integration as Each Part. From the Start Integration drop-down list, select Automatic. Under User Account, select whether you want to inherit permissions from the service. By default, Actions will inherit the User Account specified from the Integration node, so you won't need to set it again in the Actions node. In the File Integration pane, select File Detection. In the Properties pane, under Detection Options, select Computer Network from the Location drop-down list. For the Folder to Scan option, type the path or browse to the folder that you want the integration service to monitor. In this case, the Assembly Line Next Part folder. In the File Pattern field, type asterisk.txt. This is the file extension that the integration will look for. Scroll down to the Actions After Detection section. From the Action drop-down list, select Delete File. The file is no longer needed after it has been detected. In the File Integration pane, click the Print Document action. This is the default action. In the Properties pane, under Document, click the Browse button to select the bartender document that you want to print when the integration is triggered. In this case, select Serialized.btw and click Open. Click the Save icon in the top left corner of Integration Builder to save the integration file as newpart.btin. Now that the integration is created, we can deploy it by clicking Deploy Integration to open the New Deployment dialog. Enter a name and description for the deployment. Make sure that the integration file setting lists newpart.btin. Otherwise, click Browse and select newpart.btin. For target servers, add the server or servers you want to deploy the integration file to. For Schedule, select Immediately. Specify the desired error handling settings. Click OK to close the dialog and deploy the integration file. Administration Console will open on the Integrations node, displaying your integration. Click the integration name Each Part to open a detailed view of the integration. As you run the example scenario, you can observe the processing steps of the integration in the Output section. Using Windows Explorer, copy the blank text file part.txt into the Assembly Line Next Part folder. The integration begins almost immediately, deleting the empty text file from the Next Part folder and sending the bartender document to print. Each time you run the scenario, the barcode on the printed document is incremented by one. To quickly recap, in this video we set up a directory for the integration service to monitor. We also set up a blank text document to be a trigger file. We then created an integration using Integration Builder to monitor the directory and execute specific actions when it detected the trigger file in the directory. In this case, our document is printed with an incremental serial number and the trigger file is deleted. For more examples using Integration Builder, you can check out support.seagullscientific.com. Thank you for watching.